Hi, hello, my name's Than, short for Nathaniel. So, today, some new things. Um, two of the new Merit uh, blush shades. I got a uh, Stockholm and a Prey. Have the new Dior Forever concealer. I had the old version of this. I liked it, um, but I don't know. I felt like it was kind of overhyped, so. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like my hopes are higher for this one, but we'll get into it. And then Jones Road, um, they launched their bronzer in the Bobbi 2.0 kit uh, last year, at the end of last year, um, a couple months ago. <laughs> um, uh, so I got that kit sent to me and they had shade uh, medium tan in it. So at the time with the kit, you could select two different shades, um, but they just released the full range of their bronzers. So I had to pick up this shade because it just seems like it's just going to be the perfect fair bronzer shade. It's super, super pink. It's called Dusty Rose. I mean, just look at it. It's like almost a blush, like borderline blush. So this one definitely still worked for me. I just had to kind of use a light hand. Um, but look how pink this is. This is just super neutral. I don't think it's really too warm at all. You can see this one demonstrated um, in my previous review. Um, but today I'm gonna be uh, demonstrating this one and I have worn it a couple times and I think I already love it But you know We'll see in all this lighting and stuff how it really looks so today I prep my skin with the good molecules niacinamide toner. I freaking love this toner. It's so good I highly recommend um, and then I followed up with a Paracone MD sheet mask, which honestly was really nice and I loved that kind of came in two parts so it was really easy to kind of apply you know the eye holes and stuff could have been a little bigger but I usually have that problem because I have a big face <laughs> um, and then I followed up with my good light moisturizer which is super rich so if my skin looks dry today I'm gonna scream <laughs> uh, but I'm gonna use the Dior Forever uh, natural nude foundation one of my favorites I have the shade 0N same shade that I have in the concealer So the Merit Flush Bomb, uh, they launched four new shades. Ugh, I'm so mad at myself. So each one is around $30-ish and they had a set with all four for like 60. So it was basically like buy two, get two, you know what I mean? But I didn't see that set when I placed my order. So I just got these two, which, you know, whatever. It's not like I need a hundred blushes, trust me. <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> still it would have been nice, you know. To show you all the colors but um i have two of the older shades as well so from the new shades i got apre in stockholm so excited for these i swatched them but i haven't put them on these are i mean they seem like they're just going to be the perfect pinks i'm like so pleasantly surprised i was a little worried i feel like i just try a lot of pink blushes and i'm usually kind of like let down because it's just a little too warm it's not quite i don't know it's not like bubble gummy enough and just not cool enough so or bright enough. So like the name suggests, it's like a balmy formula. Um, it comes out a lot sheerer than how the color looks um, in the, uh, I mean, it's not a tube, in the, um, uh, I guess, component, we'll just say. Because <laughs> it's not a jar either. So I would say um, Stockholm is more of like a light neutral pink. Whereas Apre is more of like a super cool pink. And usually with colors like this, I feel like they're always just a little too peachy. This is like peach, but it's like the pink peach. It's not going into like the orangey peach category, which a lot of light cool pinks go so orange. It's crazy. But this one looks good. Um, so I guess I'll just swatch the other colors that I have next to it. Um, I have Beverly Hills, which this is actually a perfect example. So this is what I'm talking about. Most of the pinks that I expect to look closer to these two always come out like this like peachy color. Even if they say pink, it's crazy. Um, and then I have Cheeky, which actually is another pretty cool pink from them. I'm kind of impressed. Cheeky to me is almost like a mix between these two, you know? All really pretty shades and just a really nice formula. Uh, sometime last year, they changed uh, the packaging to this gold uh, versus the old gray. And this is so much better, I gotta say. I think all their stuff should be more like gold like this. This kind of just, 
you know, it's just, it, it leaves it going kind of meh, like meh red. <laughs> but this, it's like, you know, just, it's so much nicer. And I feel like I'm gonna reach for these ones way more than I reach for the others. Not just cause of the color, but cause of the packaging. And I also wanna point out, I just washed off the swatches real quick and you can see, um, there's quite a bit of a stain from Apre, which is more of that cool, like super bright, cool pink. Um, that's typical, all, <laughs> literally every single bright pink blush that I have like that uh, does that, so yeah. Pink stains. So I'm gonna start with Stockholm, and then we'll probably do a pop of Apre. And I'm just gonna go right on with the, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> what, should, what is this called? Like, the little nub? Going in with the nub. Oh my God. I really, really like. This is a color I would probably wear every day, and I might. <laughs> it's so good. And then I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend very softly. I mean, it basically just blends out to like a supernatural flush. It's really, really nice. All right, so let me do a little pop of Apre. Honestly, I could wear this shade every day too because these blend so sheer. But you can definitely see the Apre is more pigmented, you know, has more of an impact. I'm in love, just the perfect pinks. I could not be more satisfied. <laughs> so for the concealer, I wanted to find my old one. Um, I had it in the shade 00N, this time I got 0N, but you know, cause I want to kind of compare them, but I think I might've tossed it because I did a big declutter and I have been kind of really organizing. I spent all day today organizing basically and there's still so much work to do, but it's better. Yeah, we'll just go in with this. Um, I did wear it the other day and I kind of just quickly blended in with my fingers um, and I was super impressed. I think this version, the new version is just creamier. I don't know, the texture just feels so much better than what I remember. I felt like the other one was a bit more matte. Here's the shade on my hand. Also, this bottle's glass. I don't think the last one was glass. I think it was plastic. It is fragrance. It has that, you know, typical luxury, like Dior fragrance, but I don't really mind it too much. Am I like too exposed? I don't know, I, I'm sorry if I was like super bright before. I don't know if this is better. I don't remember what settings I usually use to film. I haven't filmed in a couple weeks and I don't know what happened, I just forgot. <laughs> I've used like the same settings for a while, but never. Seeing quite a bit of bunching up right in these fine creases right here. I don't know, more than I usually would see. But I'm just gonna like, yeah. Smooth them out. And then really quickly, going with a little bit of West Montelier Pink Bubble. Sunji Designer Pro. Can you use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm Contour. I may go in with a little bit more blush um, you know, as we go through, but we'll see. Here is Dusty Rose. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So this formula, it's quite soft. So just be careful you're not picking up too much product because it's gonna be more pigmented, you know? So let me just show you. This is Dusty Rose and then bottom is medium tan. And then I'm also gonna swatch uh, Gucci Fair. This is like my favorite bronzer. So I hope you can see this. Um, but look how much pinkier the the um, Jones Road Dusty Rose is. Like signif significantly more. And I thought this was like pretty pink. Um, but now it looks so much more neutral compared to, you know, these. Taking the Sonia Soft Cheek rolling a little bit into this bronzer. Yeah, you definitely gotta be careful with this. A lot, a lot gets kicked up, I will say. Beautiful. 
beautiful. It's just like toasting my cheeks. I'm like a little, like a little toasted marshmallow. Like, I feel like I maybe went in with too much, but because of the tone and because it's just like so pink, it's just like, I don't know. Like, it doesn't feel like, like I don't look orange. I don't look orange. <laughs> I am going to buff a little. I am gonna buff. I'm gonna use the Armani Luminous Silk Glow Fusion Powder. Yeah, I think just buffing it, make sure that it's kind of seamless, you know? For eyes, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. Gonna use my Bisyodo brush here. Going into Jones Road Ash. <laughs> Same shade with uh, my short handle Biscotto brush. Sunny G Crease Pro into a smoky gray. A little bit of smoky gray on the shorter brush. On the outer portion, a little bit into ash again. And then big Bisciotto brush into chic. And I think for the majority of the lid, I'm gonna use So Pretty, which is just amazing. And then I'm gonna go in with the Victoria Beckham Brightening Waterline Pencil. Um, for highlight, Clay de Poe, Twilight's Glow. <laughs> so I wanna use a little bit of this on the inner corner here. And I'm kind of going more into like the little pinky triangle here. Half pinky triangle, half goldy triangle. <laughs> Just a very soft, 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 soft sheen. Mascara, long comb lashy doll. I think I figured out <laughs> which is my old lashy doll and which is the new one. I threw out the, the old one. So yeah, I tried weighing them on this little scale we have and they weigh exactly the same. I'm like, what the fuck? So, yeah, I'm guessing that this is the new one. <laughs> I should have just tossed the old one before I opened this one. Oh my God, I can't. Anyways. For brows, Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brow Gel in taupe. I'm going to do Merit Millennial Pink, one of my favorite lipsticks. really want to try more shades in this formula. And then on top with Victoria Beckham Gloss in Fizz. So I think that's it, so let's zoom in and then we'll go over my final thoughts. You won't ever find me at a club. Cause if I ever tried to cut a rug By the time the night is done You will know that I'm a strange one I don't ever know what to do How to find a beat, how to groove But I dream about finding you You make me wanna sway And you'd say Dance with me Na dang chum chule I don't care about where or when Pick a song that never hit Okay, so here we go Let me start with the concealer Maybe I just went in with too much in this portion, but I can just, you know, those really creasy creases right in here, right where the kind of scrunches up it when you move your eye. I don't know, I can see pretty prominent like vertical creasing there. And a little bit under here, not terrible. It's a little bit worse on this side. In normal lighting, in my bathroom lighting or whatever, um, it looked really smooth and nice, so 
I think that maybe these super bright white cool lights are just like making the creasing more noticeable, but I don't know. I'm not completely sold on this. I do really like the texture. I like how it looks, you know, right in the center of my face. It's just that little bit of creasing. And you know, I can't see it. I can only really see it when my mirror is like a few inches from my face, so. <laughs> I think maybe from from here it looks good <laughs> but super super close you know I can see that so I don't know I'm not yeah not 100% sold on this but I will keep using it I don't know maybe I just need to like kind of get the hang of it uh these blushes I think you know they're amazing I love new shades are so good I feel like I didn't even realize I feel like between when I first tried these and now <laughs> I've tried so many more cream blushes, you know, so these are actually like really really good I feel like they're kind of mistake proof because they have that sheer quality and I just love the new shades I'm just so happy. I'm so happy <laughs> Another effortless pink blush sign me up, you know <laughs> the bronzer so I actually like both of these shades Of course this one I feel like is just so unique. It's so hard to find pinky bronzers like this for, for for fair skin, you know? But I think there's still a place for this one in looks, you know what I mean? And of, same with the Gucci. Like, I feel like the Gucci is kind of like an in-between of these two. It's, a, it's more neutral, it's right in between, and it's also like a bit lighter than medium tan. So yeah, I mean, I would probably reach for this shade of the Gucci over medium tan. Um, but damn, I'm happy to have this color in my collection. I do think slightly, this one is slightly more powdery than this, but they have a very creamy feel to them. Um, it's not like a cream to powder situation. They're just a very soft powder, you know what I mean? But if you really like this shade of the Gucci and you're fair like me, you're gonna love this because it's just so, it's so nice. Even if you don't use this as a bronzer necessarily, you can still use it as a blush. I just love, 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 love it. And it was easy to buff out. Like I went in with too much, but because of the tone and because I buffed it out, it was still good, you know? Okay, that's all for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and ring the bell so you're notified every single time that I upload a new video. Follow my Instagram, prettyearthangram. And some sad news, <laughs> newness, um, which is the which, like kind of beauty app slash platform that I've been using for the past couple years for live streaming. They're no longer live streaming. I think they're going to go in a different direction. Um, really sad. I really loved live streaming over there. I know I always mention in the end of my videos, please catch me in the stream over there. I have a lot of great memories of newness and yeah, not going to lie. I'm pretty sad about it, <laughs> but I'm going to try streaming here on YouTube. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited to kind of engage with more of you guys. Over there it was a little quieter, but it was so, you know, we were like a tight knit community and yeah. Anyone from Nunes watching, I love you so much and please let's keep in touch and come to my streams here on YouTube. <laughs> All right, goodbye.